Now, the Indian film industry has earned a great admiration and loyalty from people not only in India, but also worldwide. And to immortalize this legacy, UTV Stars, the official channel of Bollywood, has launched the iconic UTV Walk of the Stars. UTV Stars Walk of the Stars. Now, this, of course, is a very unique opportunity of bringing fans and well-wishers and people who've loved these actors and stars for ages together a little closer to them and to perhaps honor and immortalize the legacy of a star who's who's contributed immensely towards the Indian film cinema. Now, today, of course, we're here to honor the legacy of such a man, a stalwart of Indian cinema. Today, we are here to gather, we are gathered here to honor and immortalize the contribution of a stalwart, an actor, a producer, a director who successfully has balanced a career in commercial and art house cinema, international cinema, and, of course, theater. Mr. Sashi Kapoor has had a wonderfully unique and enviable career. His body of work include memorable performances in films like Vakt, Satyam Shivam Sundaram, Kabi Kabi, Junoon, Kalyug, Silsala, and many of his performances were honored with prestigious awards. He won the National Award for the Best Actor in 1986 for his astute and very, very sensitive performance of a newspaper editor in Ramesh Sharma's and Gulzar's New Delhi Times. Now here is where his character braves a risk of his life to expose corrupt likes where between politics and the politicians and the media. And of course, who can forget his turn as the inspector Ravi Varma in Yash Chopra's Divar? in which he famously intoned, Mere Paas Maa Hai. And of course, he walked away with the film fair for the Best Supporting Actor. He also had a very productive and a creative association with the Merchery, Merchant Ivy, uh, Ivory Productions, for which he went on to star in much acclaimed films such as The Householder, Shakespeare Wala, The Bombay Talkies, Heat and Dust, and The Side Streets. Mr. Kapoor received his training as an actor in the theatre company, which of course was run by his late father, Mr. Prithviraj Kapoor. It was through theatre that he met the love of his life, Mrs. Jennifer Kapoor. While she was in Calcutta, in fact, travelling with her father's uh, theatre company called the Shakespeareana. Now, people not only in India, so this is a very momentous occasion where we honor this legend, this stalwart. Please, once again, do give a huge round of applause to this legend right here. Fantastic. Now, at this moment, I would like to call upon Mr. Siddharth Roy Kapoor to please say a few words. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you all for being here today. And, and uh, firstly, I'd like to thank uh, the first family of Indian cinema and theater for gracing us with, uh, you know, with this occasion and being so gracious to, uh, to really accept the mark of respect that we'd like to bestow upon Mr. Shashi Kapoor today. Um, I think for many of us actually being here, I mean for many at least from my generation being here throws up a, a stream of memories. I mean I actually started out as a volunteer at the Prithvi Theatre Festival. Uh, there are so many memories associated with just being here at this venue. Uh, and you know it's all because of the work of someone like Mr. Shashi Kapoor who's been a patron of the arts. In addition of course to being someone who uh, you know uh, our uh, spouses and girlfriends will still tell us today was uh, the best looking actor in Indian cinema, number one. Number two, one of the most fearless producers, I think, in Indian cinema uh, to have ever graced the screen because some of the movies that he's actually backed and produced have been movies that if released today would go on to be massive commercial hits and actually push the envelope so much in terms of the sort of content that they were trying to create. I'm not even mentioning the fact that he was you know, one of the most charming and one of the most dashing actors that ever graced the screen. And, you know, all through the uh, 60s, 70s and 80s gave us such brilliant performances. But I think what I really would like to talk about today is his contribution really as an entertainer and as a patron of the arts. Both as being someone who's ensured that in this, uh, you know, vast desert of, uh, you know, like sort of urban life that we live today, you have an oasis like the Prithvi Theatre that still lives and grows and breathes and gives us a chance to enjoy theatre. And I'd like to thank him, uh, him and I'd like to thank his entire family for that legacy. Uh, and of course, the fact that he has supported cinema that actually today is really coming of age. And, you know, uh, the, the sort of movies that we're seeing today that are commercial successes, despite what used to be considered to be art house in the 70s and 80s, uh, it, it really started from him. So films like 
36 Choringi Lane and films like Utsav. You know, these are movies that if they were released today would have been massive, massive commercial successes. So he was, he was well, well before his time. So I, I would like to uh, thank him for gracing the occasion. And I'd like to say that, you know, it'll be our honor uh, to, uh, to be able to commemorate him by uh, having a tile dedicated to him at the UTV Stars Walk of Fame. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kapoor. I'd also like to ask Mr. Kunal Kapoor here, what does this occasion mean to you, sir? Um, what is, well, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's nice that UTV uh, stars is you know, honoring him and recognizing his contribution to the industry. A lot of what Siddharth has said, but at the end of the day, he's, he's my father. You know, for you, he's Shashi Kapoor and he's the film star, but for me, he's that. But well, thank you very much. If you'd like to say something. Just thank you to UTV stars, uh, the respect, and uh, Shashi Uncle, of course, does deserve this. And uh, thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you for honoring him and the family. Thank you. And how stoked are you guys? Who's going to be the spokesperson? Ooh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. Elder one. Yeah. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> um, I, I just... Probably it's just a great honor and privilege to be a part of such a huge, huge name and the amount of respect that people give my grandfather. And I'm just uh, grateful to be here. And I thank you very much for making it special. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Do grace them with a huge, huge, thunderous round of applause. And uh, Mr. Mr. Kapoor, I'd like you to honor Mr. Shashi Kapoor with a shawl. We could keep the applause coming. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Kapoor. And I would like to call upon uh, Mr. Kapoor once again to unveil the tile. And this is, of course, the moment, so please keep it huge. Jano meri jaan, main tere kurban. Jano meri jaan, main tere kurban. Ar main tera tu meri jaan ne sara Hindustan. Thank you very much. This is an opportunity to have a, a photo op here. Please, if you could all huddle together for a photo opportunity, click away. Thank you very much. The floor is now open to questions. So if you'd like to address the gentry on stage. <laughs> Anybody? Well, thank you very much for coming here. Thank you very much. And once again, let's please give a huge round of applause to the man, the legend, Mr. Shashi Kapoor.
something about this? Well, I mean, it is very special. I mean, particularly when, you know, uh, someone like UTV stars, you know, who are recognizing and, you know, uh, kind of giving back thanks to the people who have been involved in the, the making, the development of the industry. So, uh, you know, to recognize Dad and to honor him is nice. You try your luck. Huh? Try luck. <laughs> so, which film of your father you like the most and the song when you come uh, for the movie? Remember film, remember scenes? I think you like the most? films, uh, probably Shakespeare Walla. But otherwise, it's an unfair question because, like I said earlier, I mean, he was, was, and still is my father. So, my relationship with him is. is uh, he's my father, I and mean, we never saw him as a film star or anything else. You know, acting was his job, and um, yeah, we used to sometimes laugh at him, and we used to sometimes come home and say, "What crap have you done?" You know, I mean, and, but um, yeah, it's a different way we looked at him. Is he's more of, you know, that's his profession, and he's my father. You know, that's it. Not about his own work, but every day um, at home we always, you know, we had breakfast together and we, discussions, uh, uh, we always had discussions, were always about film, about theatre, but no, not about his own work. He never brought his work home. What he had to say on the special honour, did, did he say anything? Um, well, right now he doesn't say very much and he kind of yeah, pretends sometimes to kind of, yeah. So, I mean, uh, he, when he saw the plaque, I could see, I mean, he recognized, remembered, you know, going through that process of doing the handprint. And, um, but to be honest, you know, he's never been one um, who's bothered really about personal awards or anything that is given to him. So he always kind of shrugged it off and said, it's fine, it's part of the job. What was interesting was when I took him to see uh, Rockstar in the theater, because um, he hasn't been very well, but we went to see Rockstar and halfway through the film he turned around and he said, yeah, yeah, ladka, acha hai. <laughs> you know, I said, that's your nephew. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. And about the girls? Because he's seen, he's seen, because, you know, they have been, uh, Karina has been working much longer. So, yes, I mean, he's very proud of the whole continuation in the family. How does it help now? Fragile. It's fragile. It's a problem. Just now, question for you. You didn't feel sometimes to be an actor or Well, I did act uh, in a couple of films, but I don't think I had... I was more interested in the process of filmmaking, you know, and... Um, I don't think I had that inner masochism that you need to want to be an actor. I didn't really quite have that in me, you know. So I was more interested in filmmaking. So the minute I got an opportunity, I went and I started making films. Uh, has, has a thought crossed your mind of, you know, probably remaking any of Shashi Kapoor's classic films? Is, is there ever a thought? No. I, I mean, um, no, I, I, I mean, I definitely I wouldn't want to do that. I mean, it's a bit like, you know, trying to buy a Made in Ulasnagar kind of imitation brand. Why, why do that? The original is the original. You know, I'd rather spend time and money in preserving those prints and preserving those negatives, which is what we're doing right now, you know, for the future generations. Yeah? Ji. Comes on, fragile. Three times a week he goes for dialysis. Uh, four days a week he's at home. He enjoys his food. He really just goes from meal to meal. And watches television. Hangs with the family. He watches television. Hmm. Any particular shows he watches? Anything, I think. Sometimes films, particularly his old films. <laughs>